Hello, I am Megali Uldasson of MHD Design and I'm here to show you how I line any pieces of garment that are open all the way down either on the front or in the back. This is uh, the dress from my pattern Sans Prétention and um, I'm showing it uh, where um, I have assembled the fronts and the back and uh, attached the sleeve for the dress and the lining. So uh, here I go. Take your dress, you line it. I rarely pin things down because in doll clothing um, the pieces are so small and I prefer placing it as I go. So you start by doing the sleeves hem. Always make sure you follow your quarter inch seam allowance which follows my foot here as just an eighth of an inch sticking out. it, I do the hem. When I do corners, it's an old trick that my grandmother showed me is that you need to do one bias stitch to make the corner breathe, they say. Just like that, and then you turn. Again, it's another corner, so I'm gonna do one bias stitch here. Then we're gonna do the neck hole. matching the seams. Trim all of the seam in half.
and when I get into a corner I clip it because there's not a, a lot of uh, clippings to be done when it's a curved line. Then I do clip all the way to the seam every quarter inch. It's always good to have scissors that are very well sharpened all the way to the tips. The part that is so difficult to take pictures of or to explain is that you have your dress that is attached to the lining and you want to close the sides and you want to keep an opening and what I mean by slipping the back into the front or sometimes for a coat it's the opposite the front into the back you need to open this here and slip the front keeping always right side together. So you have your front that is turned, but you're going to put it... I mean, this was the back, this is the front. You put it inside. And you have everything lined up to close the inseam and the side of the dress. So I'll do that side without the opening, because you do need only one opening on one side of the lining. So what I do usually also for the connection of the seam, um, in order to lay flat, you could push one seam allowance on one side and the other on the other side. So that uh, reduces the bulk. But you can also push it all the way to the lining side, but that makes it a little bulkier. Okay. Now always make sure you have your quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew it and it's going to make a whole loop around from the lining to the dress. And um, you see here it's the connection of the sleeves and I'm going to do the same thing with the seam allowances, pushing one on one side and the other on the other side, the sleeve always towards the sleeves. see 
it makes a whole loop. Now we're going to do the other side, leaving an opening in the lining. So where I am, I'm opening the back side to where the sleeve and the shoulder is. And I'm passing it through, slipping, in, slipping it in the front. Start on the lining side, push seam allowances each way. And I'm going to back stitch because it's going to be the opening and I don't want it to uh, unsew itself. Now before I turn it right side out, I need to trim all the seam in half, except for the opening. It's going to be easier to sew it close by hand. the side. This is how it looks. Of course when you do a coat the sleeves are longer or sometimes you have a hood but it's always the same technique. Now to turn it right side out, just go inside the lining and you just push everything. Show that your corners are really nice and square. You can use a little corner pusher tool to Turn right side out. You have your opening. 
Now I'm going to go press it and then I'm going to show you how I sew it close with an invisible stitch. Okay, now I have my dress all nicely pressed and this is the inside with the opening. You are, I'm using a red thread so you can see what I'm doing but obviously this is supposed to be invisible stitch so you're going to use the same color thread as your fabric. You start in the seam Side. and then you do a ladder stitch of course the thread won't want to cooperate there you go. Be careful not to catch the dress fabric. Just need to catch the lining fabric. And of course when you do it with the right color thread, it is invisible. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the opening here. I'm going to do a knot. And then you're going to go inside that you don't have a little thread poking out. There you have it. Now you can do your snaps, buttons and embellishments. Have fun sewing!